Acoustic emittance is a routine part of the audiological test battery. It's important for identifying abnormalities, and it measures the effects of various pathologies on the acoustic impedance in the plane of the tympanic membrane. Acoustic emittance, in general, it's called tympanometry, and it is an objective test of middle ear function. So the tests we've spoken about so far have been subjective in that the subject was asked to participate, like raise their hand or say a word. But with objective test, the patient does not participate. They just have to sit quietly. So emittance is an encompassing term for impedance, compliance, and emittance. And it's used, we use an acoustic emittance meter to make these measurements. The first measure is the static acoustic compliance, which is the mobility of the tympanic membrane or the eardrum in response to a given value of air pressure in the external ear. So a probe is put in the ear canal, a seal is, we get a seal, an airtight seal, air pressure is put in, and we measure the compliance. Tympanometry is a measure of different middle ear pressures, and it's determined by the mobility of the tympanic membrane. So as a function of various amounts of positive and negative ear pressure, we measure the um, admittance, so how much energy gets through. There's also the acoustic reflex, which is the contraction of the middle ear muscle in response to intense sounds, and that decreases compliance. So there's a probe with three open um, tubes. It's fitted tightly in the ear canal. You have to get a seal, and there are different size tips based on whether you're working with a child or an adult. This is a picture of an acoustic emittance meter. So this is what helps you determine the static acoustic compliance, the ear canal pressure, and the acoustic reflex. The first tube is connected to a miniature loudspeaker that sends out a pure tone around 220 or 226 hertz. The second tube is a tiny microphone that picks up the sound that is reflected in the ear canal. And the third tube is an air pump that creates either positive or negative pressure. Our responses are measured in decapascals. So the probe tone is placed in the ear canal, air pressure is pushed in along with a sound of 226 hertz and the amount of energy that is emitted through the tympanic membrane as a function of different air pressures is measured.